Hello everybody, welcome to Nadia Collectibles. My name is Nadia, thank you so much for being here. For today's video, we're gonna be unboxing arguably one of the best Jujutsu Kaisen resins that's ever been released. This resin has been in my basement since like January or February of this year. Uh, I've been dying to unbox it, I just haven't yet because it's a monster of a resin, it's like 50 pounds. This will also be my first unboxing from Yo-Yo Studio. I've heard a lot of amazing things about this studio, so I'm super excited to unbox it because I have a lot more stuff on pre-order with them as well that I can't wait to get in eventually hopefully soon the fact that this resin has been sitting in my basement is not so good because if it does come with any breaks which i hope it doesn't but if it does come with any breaks i can't probably get a replacement so i'm just really hopeful that everything is intact and everything is all right i'm sure it will that's like one of the things i will be seeing about yo, yo studio today to see how they package things and all that good stuff if you watch this video and you're curious how to buy resin statues yourself, I do have a video on my channel explaining the ins and outs of resin collecting if you'd like to check it out. And with that, let's just go straight into the unboxing. I was actually dying trying to bring this up the stairs, so I'm really scared. I'm gonna do my best to show you guys the art box so you can see just like the label. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's the art box. <laughs> So as usual, I ordered this resin off of Fanatic Anime Store. So of course we have these corner pieces. Let's just get these corner pieces off so we can see the art box and see what's inside. Corner pieces are off, so let's cut through the middle. Okay. So we have a big foam thing and then we have the huge Jujutsu Kaisen logo. I have to take the shipment box out on my bed because I will pass away. <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> this is not going well. Let's try it. Ooh, that was easy. Oh my God. Okay, so this is pretty much just a big blown up image of what the resin set is gonna look like itself. Oh my gosh. There's a big list of precautions. Let's read through them really quick. So this product is intended for persons 14 years or older. I am older than that. Please carefully read the precautions before handling this product. Some, part, pro, some parts in this product are sharp, small, or heavy when opening, blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, that was too much for me to read. So yeah, then we just have the name of Utah. So now that we have the art box out, let's get the foam packaging out. Somebody on one of my other videos suggested that I open the bottom of the art box to push the foam packaging out, and that's what I'm going to do here. I got it out. Okay, let's move to the table to actually see what's inside the foam packaging. Okay, this is insane. This thing is so big. I can't even like get it all on camera. So here's the foam packaging. It has Yo-Yo Studio logo right here. And then we have the straps with the nice yo, yo And then we have the straps with the nice Yo-Yo Studio label as well. So let's get the straps off to see what's inside. As always, you guys eat first. So let's get open. Oh my god, there's so many pieces. This, this is gonna take me so long to put together, I already know. Okay, so the top level we see all the effect pieces and all the different uh, parts that I'm gonna have to connect at some point. Oh my god, did I see you just said? Okay, wait, let's see what's on the second level. Oh my god. Okay, so the second level has the bulk of Rika. She is absolutely massive. And I don't know where to start. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Let's start with the effect pieces since that was the top level actually. So I'm gonna move Rika over here and then we'll start with Yuta over here. So we're gonna start with all the effect pieces and see uh, how this assembly is gonna be. I have no idea. I'm probably gonna have to watch a couple videos when I get to the assembly part, but let's get to getting these effect pieces out. Looks like everything was packaged amazing. I don't see a single break just from like my first initial view, but there's so many working parts for this. Like, oh no, this is gonna be a catastrophe. An interesting fact to note is that I know all the effect pieces initially in the prototype were purple and now they're red, which I don't know what happened in the final approval process, but they changed all the pieces to red and I actually think it looks really nice. So here's one of the effect pieces. Here's another effect piece, another effect piece. Here's another effect piece. It's just gonna be me saying that like a hundred times over, so bear with me. We have another effect piece. Okay, uh, we're, we're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. Cause now we have a one of the bodies for Yuta. Okay, so I know that this resin comes with like different poses of Yuta. He's like doing a bunch of different stuff. So here's one of them. I have no idea how I want to display them yet. We're gonna have to get through everything so that I can see which pose I think works best. We're gonna keep 
pushing through all the effect pieces. Okay, I finished one line of tape. Um. Oh, is this Ghetto's robe? I'm pretty 99% positive this is Ghetto's robe since uh, this is obviously a depiction of the fight between Ta and Ghetto in Jujutsu Kaisen Zero. Another effect piece. Another effect piece. Another effect piece. Oh, is that a little chip? Whatever. I'm not sure what this is, but it's a different texture than all the other pieces. And then we have two really small effect pieces. Everything so far is looking great, no breaks at all. So now we have another effect piece, another effect pieces. I love the like transparent resin. That definitely adds to the actual price of the resin because it is hard to make. I remember too when I originally ordered this, another effect piece, that I thought it was like super cheap, but you guys see the size of the shipment box. The shipping for just this resin by itself from Fanatic Anime Store was like $260. It was super expensive to ship out. But now that I have it in my house and how I, like I'm feeling how heavy everything is, I completely understand the price. This is a cool one. Look how cool the little twisty thing. Ooh. So when comparing this to more of the licensed pieces, I think this is definitely the best Yuta figure that's ever been done. I hope to see more Jujutsu Kaisen resins done by Yoyo Studio. I love the way that they always have like unique takes on uh, characters or just like really, really well executed scenes in general. If it's not uh, an original take, it's more so just really well done. And we have another piece right here. We got a really big effect piece right here. Woo! And then Yuta's swords. This is awesome. Here's his two swords. We have a big one. These are Ghetto's nunchucks. How cool is that? Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Look how awesome. Where we have yet again another Battle of the Curses. I think this is so cool. This is so awesome. And finally, we're getting to the face sculpts of Utah. And I'm curious to see. He looks so good. Look how amazing this looks and the individual hair strands not a single break i am so lucky okay now we have another head sculpt Ooh, this is him like angy he's not in a mood to be dealing with somebody like ghetto i am so excited to get all the other resins from yoyo studio now especially all the chainsaw man ones i'm so excited okay so we've pretty much gone through the entire box of all the effect pieces and stuff so now we're gonna move on to the really chunky monkey one which is gonna hold the body of rika and then i think some more effect pieces and then more torsos for yuta oh, oh my god oh my god I'm so heavy <sighs> okay so now we have another torso of yuta again the shading of the skin looks really really good they wrapped this one really good i wonder why once again another effect piece and then finally we have yuta's bottom so here is his really long, hit those legs go all the way. Ooh, they, get, they include a coin stand, which I love so much when the studios do that. What is this? I don't know what this is. Oh my God. Oh my God. She is so heavy. But is that not the coolest thing ever? How amazing is this? The teeth look so good. Oh my gosh. And her claws. Rika looks so beautiful. She's such a beautiful girl, isn't she? I feel like this is the heaviest thing I've ever held in my life. Finally, we're at the base. So here is the base. I love how dynamic it is and it's so clean and solid. The paint job has done so well. Here we have the bottom of the resin, which I don't see an addition size. So I'm not sure what my addition size is, but it's another picture of the resin itself all put together. So this is the base. The base is absolutely phenomenal. So now we have, I think the final piece of this resin, which is going to, I believe, holds the bust of um, Utah. I'm pretty positive this is where he's gonna stay if I decide to not display him with one of the heads. I think I can put it here. I think you got this um, if you ordered from Fanatic Anime Store. I think they included this so that you could have like a nice stand for Utah and it looks really good. So yes. Oh interesting. Okay so when I was looking at Rika initially I remember that said that there was like saliva on Rika's teeth, but I didn't see that when I was looking. And I think this is where you put the saliva on yourself. I'm too scared to do that, so I'll probably just won't do it. This is such a fabulous coin. Oh my gosh. It's again, another blown up picture of the actual scene that is depicted in this resin statue. And this is just fabulous. But I don't, oh, I see the addition size. I got number 248 out of 355. So there's 355 pieces made and I was lucky enough to be able to get a pre-order spot on Fanatic Anime Store. It was selling out, selling out like crazy. 
So now that we've gone through the actual unboxing of this resin, let's get to the assembly so I can show you guys how amazing this resin looks all put together. Thank you so much for watching my video today i hope you enjoyed it if you did go ahead and give it a like subscribe if you'd like to as well and i'll see you guys later goodbye